this first paragraph this first paragraph was explained the other day no before we close down yes or no yes sir explain i is all right but i hope you all got that no that explanation part or the interpretation part whatever it is this rule applies to vessel not in sight of one another we have seen those rules which apply when the vessel is in sight of one another under section 2 of this part and now it this says this rule applies to vessel not in sight of one another <coughs> will that mean that uh, uh, will it apply in the section 1 in any any condition of visibility no sir no so it will not apply in the case of in any condition of visibility if it will not apply in the case of vessel in sight of one another so this rule applies to vessels not in sight of one another that means obviously uh, visibility as far as visibility is question is there so uh, this is restricted visibility in which you can't see the vessel when you are navigating in or an near an area of restricted visibility every vessel now what this rule says every vessel shall proceed at a safe speed adapted to the prevailing circumstances and conditions of restricted visibility a power driven vessel shall have engine ready for immediate maneuver so now uh, this part proceeding at a safe speed so the safe speed part we have already seen uh, that in general every vessel should maintain at all times safe speed now uh, here it says uh, every vessel should proceed at a safe speed adapted to the prevailing circumstances and condition of visibility that means whatever required safe speed in the prevailing circumstances of this and condition of restricted every vessel shall follow that a power driven vessel shall have her engine ready for immediate maneuver so that means uh, in restricted visibility you must have your engine ready for immediate maneuver so one is the speed part the second part is the uh, second one is the uh, uh, engine readiness of engine uh which is obviously uh, different in other conditions so therefore in this restricted visibility conditions ship should have the engines ready for immediate maneuver and also the ship uh, maintain such speed uh which is safe speed which is uh adapted to the prevailing as per the prevailing circumstances condition you have to uh, proceed at that speed Which is the safe speed? So now, no values are given anywhere. Whether in general, uh, the delivery vessel shall proceed at all time in the safe speed. वो कितना speed है वो तो पता ही नहीं है. Here is the only thing is according to the situation. So whatever the situation is, but at but um, at sea. at see when you talk about uh, safe speed in general <coughs> there <coughs> you maintain with when we talk about it, different conditions of weather so restricted visibility is one of the conditions uh, otherwise the safe speed itself as per definition is the speed which is safe with where vessel can be stopped at a reasonable distance to avoid any collision so any action is that that you take for that purpose the speed should be such you should be able to stop it is like uh, if you are driving a four wheeler or a two wheeler on the road you should maintain such speed no matter if the road is empty or absolutely khali hai rasta uh, no problems no obstruction nothing and you go at a speed whatever you feel like 
no they are also the same thing so whether you talk about the ship or you talk about any modes of transport uh, uh, the speed should be such that uh, you can take uh, can stop the vessel uh, in case of any emergency instantly the four wheeler two wheeler with you have brakes jahaz mein to brakes nahi hai how to stop the ship there are procedures there are uh, ways of doing things uh, so what this is what is the safe speed is okay every vessel shall have due regard to the prevailing circumstances and condition of restricted visibility when complying with the rule of section 1 of this part hmm rule the section 1 section 1 kya hai conduct of vessel in any condition of visibility so in any condition of visibility mein restricted visibility aata hai ki nahi aata hai So actually, in any condition of visibility, also includes uh, restricted visibility. So therefore, uh, say so the power-driven vessel, uh, sorry, every vessel uh, uh, shall have due regard to the prevailing circumstances and condition of restricted visibility when complying with the rule of section one. So whenever you talk about conduct of vessel in any condition of visibility, there you have to take into consideration. this restricted visibility condition when you are complying with the rules of those uh, section 1 so it has got a link with section 1 because section 1 is conduct of vessel in any condition of visibility do not mix up do not get confused be very clear in your mind okay an alteration of course to port for a vessel forward of the beam other than for a vessel being overtaken so uh, what action is talking about and alter if you are going to alter course to port for a vessel far out of the beam other than for a vessel being overtaken uska matlab kya hai in restricted visibility uh, can you alter course to port for a vessel far out of the beam Other than for a vessel of being overtaken, yes or no? Let's say in section one, conduct of vessel in any condition of visibility. So it's a clear visibility. any condition mein so it is a clear visibility so in such case when you talk about alteration of course to port for a vessel forward of the beam other than for a vessel being overtaken it is a, allowed in the case of restricted visibility also yes or no can you uh, take that uh, uh, action in the situation also okay in clear visibility can you alter course to port for a vessel uh, forward of the beam other than for a vessel being overtaken sir if vessel is yes. on port side we cannot in clear visibility or in restricted visibility in in clear visibility sir if head, head on situation is there then we can no, no not head on don't jump on to head on uh, forward of the beam if you have a vessel forward of the beam can you alter course to port for any action 
unless uh, you have uh, other than for a vessel being overtaken. Suppose if you have overtaken a vessel, uh, so after overtaking the vessel, you can alter course to port and port. Yes or no? There are two vessels. After overtaking, we can alter. Yes. So that is why other than uh, other than for a vessel being overtaken, which hold ke uh, alteration of course to port. Okay, it's not overtaking case. Nahi hai. But you have a vessel on your port side, forward of the beam, which is not overtaking case. So up, can you alter course to port? Uh, no, sir. In both uh, in both uh, uh, condition of the visibility, whether it is clear or restricted visibility, we cannot alter to port in any condition. Hmm. So that is why it says that due regard to the prevailing circumstances and condition of restitutivity when complying with the rule of section one of this part. So there are also action to avoid collision and all where we have seen that uh, in the case of crossing situation for, uh, um, uh, where uh, the stand-on vessel has to take action there also we have seen that you should avoid altered course to port for a vessel on your port side. So therefore, in restricted visibility also, uh, you have to keep it in mind that alteration of course to port for a vessel forward of the beam, which uh, should be avoided. Other than for a vessel being overtaken, suppose in restricted visibility, if you have overtaken a vessel, and then can you, uh, Alter course to port after overtaking, if the circumstances so admit. Yes, sir. We can alter to provide that vessel for more sea yes. room and keeping clear of. Yes, that is why the circumstances of the case admit. If it is, if your situations so permit, you can do that. Only in the case of vessel whom you have overtaken. Otherwise, you should avoid alter course to port for the vessel forward of the beam. An alteration of course towards the vessel abeam or above the beam. Abeam also, above the beam also. So that means if you have a vessel on your port side, whether it's a crossing situation, overtaking situation, if you are overtaking, if you are overtaking, or then if you are after overtaking, once you have overtaken, then you can. Otherwise, if you have a vessel on the port side, forward of the beam or beam or above the beam, all these cases, you should not alter course to port. Clear? Now these are the images uh, you can see. You can see the vessels above the beam and forward of the beam, port beam. It is shown both port and starboard. So we are talking about port. So you should not alter in such cases. And the vessel is got a vessel in the port side. Suppose all these cases, if, if all are overtaken, you have overtaken all of them, then you can alter to ports, provided you have overtaken these vessels, and then you can come. Otherwise, no. A vessel which detects by radar alone the presence of another vessel shall determine if a close quarter situation is developing and or risk of collision exists. If so, she shall take avoiding action in ample time, provided that when such action consists of an alteration of code, so far as possible, the following should be <coughs> avoided. <coughs> Once again, uh, you pay uh, with close attention to this part of the uh, rule, uh, this paragraph. This is talking about when you are using radar, 
mean, by radar, when you have detected the vessel and you have determined the risk of close uh, situation, close quarter situation risk of uh, collision is there. So, in that case, you should take avoiding action in ample time, provided when such action consists of an alteration of course. So that avoiding action, if it is uh, consists of an alteration of course, so far as possible, so far as possible, the falling shall be avoided. An alteration of course to port for a vessel forward of the beam, other than for a vessel being overtaken. Just now, what we said that uh, an alteration of course. So the suppose if you have to take a action uh, for. Uh, which uh, consists of alteration of course. In such a case, it says, if you uh, if you have a vessel on a port side, uh, an alteration of course to port for a vessel forward of the beam, it should not alter. Other than vessel being overtaken. So first you have to determine no, whether it is overtaking or not. If you have overtaken, then only. Otherwise, otherwise uh, for uh, to take an avoiding action, you should not alter the course to port for a vessel forward of the beam. As, as far as uh, course alteration is concerned as a part of the action. An alteration of course toward a vessel abeam or above the beam. Abeam or above the beam. So that means all that what he said, without repeating it, it is clearly said that you should not alter course if any action which uh, consists of alteration of course. Now, what about uh, reduction of speed to avoid collision in this case? Can we allow it? Hmm? To avoid any collision, uh, you should avoid altering course to port for a vessel forward of the beam, a beam or above the beam. But uh, other than a vessel of being overtaken, which uh, if, if that action uh, consists of reduction of speed, is that allowed? Yes or no? Sir, in any time, uh, it is allowed to allowed. reduce the speed because yes, it is uh, concerned to the OW whether it is maintained all these uh, things or not. Uh, as per the safe speed, we can, we can any time we can reduce the speed for the safe speed. Yeah, but referring to this rule, uh, we are not talking about uh, reduction of speed. Here the action is only uh, talking about if if it is and this action consists of alteration of course. So speed ka sawal nahi hota sakta hai. Uska matlab agar speed ka kar sakta hai chahe to yes or no? Yes sir. Haan. So don't get confused. Speed ka bar mein to bola nahi hai. But if I ask you can I reduce my speed in this case if I cannot alter course? to port. So, can I uh, 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 reduce speed to avoid any uh, risk of collision? Yes, if, we, if the circumstances show admit, you can. So, just because it has not mentioned about uh, uh, reduction of speed as an action, action to avoid collision. So, uh, well, we can if the circumstances of the case admit. Here. Here also you can see that cannot alter course. Then this one. Dunyanka Jaya Dikte. 
cannot alter course to port for any of these vessels. Hmm? Forward of the beam on the port side, then aft above the beam, port side may. So, in this case, may have to take action in it. If you have to take any action to avoid any collision. पोर्ट में नहीं ऑल्टर इस तरह से स्टार्वर्ड में ऑल्टर कर सकता है क्या नहीं ऑल्टर कर सकता स्टार्वर्ड यस सर वी कैन कोट स्टार्वर्ड सो इट इज ओनली टॉकिंग अबाउट पोर्ट but look at it so many vessels on the starboard is also there and if you uh, have to take any avoid action with any one of these vessel for which you have to alter course uh, can you alter course to starboard yes or no yes sir yes sir okay how you are saying yes sir On what ground? One. What is the logic? क्या देख के आपको लगता है जे? Yes, sir. Sir, yes. because uh, for any avoiding action, it is said in this rule we cannot alter to port, but we can go to starboard as far as possible. Or uh, otherwise, uh, we can reduce the speed. Only restriction only on port side. For a vessel on the port side, no. Uh, yes, correct. But then. uh what about the vessel on the starboard side suppose you have determined risk of collision with any of this vessel on your starboard and uh, you have to alter course in such a case uh, port may you cannot so if you have to alter to starboard in such a case can you sir uh, we will be uh, we will look for this uh... Uh, otherwise we will reduce the speed if uh, altering is uh, it uh, altering force is uh, safer than reducing the speed then we will alter otherwise we will reduce the speed and bring down engine to slow it slow it or something okay um, but i am trying to uh, what i am trying to say is to visualize we look at the vessels around you on your port and starboard Okay, now all these cases first and foremost, you have to find out the risk of collision with all these vessels that you are you see on the screen. So now, uh, if you see any risk of collision um, with any of the vessel on your starboard, so you cannot alter in any case to port. So you have you can alter course to starboard. So now, how am I saying so? How are you saying? Just because you cannot alter course to port, so that means you cannot alter course to starboard. It is not necessary. I am not talking about the speed part of it. So, it is like you see, all these vessels on your starboard. If you if you look carefully, so either they are going up. or they may be crossing or down below they may be overtaking so if you have to take action in all the cases if you see uh if those vessels are crossing on the starboard in any case you have to alter course to being a give a vessel you have to alter course to starboard so you have no other choice uh, to uh, alter course to port so here so that is why you see looking at the aspects uh, all these cases you can uh, alter course to starboard for the vessels on your starboard side and uh, as per when we talk about speed when which we are 
we are not talking about speed. Now, reduction of speed is another problem. They have not mentioned. Because in looking at this scenario, uh, you have a vessel above to have been, maybe they are overtaking. Or um, uh, in such a case, though it's their responsibility, but the moment you reduce your speed, the full aspect will change. So therefore, uh, you may find them the, for those vessels, uh, uh, you, you, the, the, you'll find them that you are going to develop a close quarter situation with them because of these actions. So um, then your action of uh, reduction of speed in that case uh, has to be uh, assessed first. In a sense, you have to first uh, find out and determine that these vessels are overtaking vessel. You, they are overtaking you. If they are overtaking you, no problem. You can reduce your speed. If you have overtaken them, then reduction of speed, you will find them that they are uh, coming close to you. So you will develop the chances of developing a close quarter situation. So therefore, speed alteration has not been talked about here. And looking at it, uh, one can say alteration of course, no matter uh, all these vessels are there on your starboard. Uh, in any case, it is your duty to, in any case, uh, uh, you, you are always on like a uh, stand a UI vessel. So you have to take action. So what else situation can be? They, they cannot be, uh, if they are uh, uh, head-on situations with any one of them, reciprocal or nearly reciprocal courses, they are coming support and in a head-on situation, they are also alteration of course is accepted. If they are crossing, they are also uh, this alteration course to start is accepted uh, or uh, been advised. Uh, so therefore, there is no problem in alteration of course to starboard in such a case. Okay. But port, no. So whether you are in restricted visibility or you are in clear visibility. Suppose if you are in clear visibility and if you get this chance, same thing you will do, no? You will not alter course to port, but again, you can uh, alter course to starboard. With the presence of same vessel. Okay. Is that clear? Yes, sir. And this paragraph uh, is the most important paragraph of this rule 19, which need to be, which is not, uh, which is misinterpreted many a times uh, because uh, this paragraph is not fully understood by a lot of people. So, uh, we will <coughs> read it, every part of it, to understand it properly. <coughs> it starts off with except where it has been determined that risk of collision does not exist. First, see this part, this sentence. Except where it has been determined that a risk of collision does not exist. Can any one of you from the class tell me what does this mean? I'm not going any further. Just tell me this part, this line except where it has been determined that a risk of collision does not exist. Uh, when both uh, uh, ships will pass clearly. Come again? Uh, when we can say the both uh, target vessel and our vessel can pass clearly with uh, no risk.
you are talking about the conduct of vessel in restricted visibility. In that, in this paragraph, this, what is the meaning of this line? Except where it has been determined that risk of collision does not exist. I'm just simply asking the little meaning, not going into the te technicality of it. Just simple meaning in English. Just simple by reading this uh, from the uh, literal sense, what does it mean actually? Yes? Can anyone? And this is where actually speaking, this is where uh, mostly the candidates uh, misinterpret us and misunderstood. Can someone tell me the li in literal sense what does this line mean? Are you all waiting for a tea break? Or... Uh... <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. So that is why you, you, you are unable to uh, use your uh, brain because of you, without a break, without a tea, uh, it will not uh, be workable. So that is why uh, yes, you are all... Sir. So it is not working. Yeah, so please then take a break, have a cup of tea, a coffee, and then we come back after the break and to see. Because this paragraph, I tell you, really need to understand. And majority we have seen that people have not understood properly. So that is why I don't uh, want to spare this. I each and every line of it I would like to make it very clear. Okay. So take a break, please.
Okay, are you all ready? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Open in front of you. While having sipping a cup of tea or coffee, uh, did you find out the literal meaning of this line that I asked? Can someone? Anyone? So can you please literal, repeat the... Literal sense. Just except where it has been determined that a risk of collision does not exist. Up till this, uh, this sentence, the, what is it literal sense it means? Well, it means that if risk of collision exists, Does it mean so? So it means where risk of collision does not exist. So one says uh, risk of collision exists, one says it does not exist. Anything else? <laughs> Anything so else? Like, uh, Okay. Sir, it means that until this is confirmed, the risk of collision exists. Sir, yes. except that he is saying that now the action prescribed is done, this action will not be applicable if you have determined already the risk of collision exists. Yes or no? Abhijo Age Bolnabala the action that is applicable only in the case when you have not determined the risk of collision. Our Ukkab Ho Sakta hai because your first primary duty is to determine whether the risk of collision exists or not. Now, when you are in restricted visibility, in dense fog, so what is your primary responsibility for the purpose of determining risk of collision? How do you determine risk of collision? First of all, how to determine risk of collision? Which is the primary responsibility, duty of officer on watch? To determine if risk of collision exists or not. How to? How to determine? Sir, if the compass being all available, if the compass building of approaching vessel sir, does by not all available, using by all available means, we means can determine. by sight and hearing and using all available means, sir. Okay. So by all available means, hearing. all available means, right? So when can you not do that? Not be able to do that, sir. In restricted visibility. In restricted sir. visibility. In re why? Restricted because visibility. Because we can't sir. see, sir. Sight is not possible. Sight and hearing first point is not possible. Uh, so, what about uh, available means? Uh, radar, uh, radar, and radar, radar, sir. radar and ARPA. sound yes. signal, sir. ARPA. Sound signal. Sound signal. So you cannot see, but at least you can hear. One minute, one minute, one minute. Again, there is a wrong uh, conception. Sound signal is not an indication for determination of the risk of collision. Determination of the risk of collision how to determine risk of collision? Yes, sir. Bearing by radar. So, sound signal is not a means of determining whether risk of collision exists or not. Sound signal only means to uh, identify the existence of a vessel or vessels. Sound signal. 
कोई भी एक डायरेक्शन में है नॉट अराउंड अराउंड दैट इज व्हाट ओनली इंडिकेट्स पर्स उसमें से आपको कैसे पता चलेगा कि रिस्क ऑफ कॉल है या नहीं है सो सो देर फोर रिमेंबर दैट इन माइंड दैट साउंड सिग्नल इज नॉट a means of determining risk of collision when you have been told use all available means by sight and by hearing by hearing by hearing the sound signal uh, what you will determine risk of collision no you will only uh, you will only have an idea of the presence of the vessel that can be determined by the sound uh, signal साउंड सिग्नल आ रहा है फ्रॉम फोर्ट बाउ साउट बाउ या फोर्ट क्वार्टर साउट क्वार्टर साइड जो भी कुछ है जिस भी डायरेक्शन में बोलो उस डायरेक्शन में आता है बट एग्जैक्टली यू नॉट नो बिकॉज यू कॉन्ट टेक ए बियरिंग सो इन दिस डायरेक्शन से आ रहा है सो दैट मीन्स हाउ दैट विल गिव मी एंड हाउ हेल्प मी डिटरमाइन दिस कॉल्यूशन सो इट इज जस्ट एन इंडिकेशन ऑफ द presence of the vessel that's it so therefore all available means that may hai nahi matlab radar nahi hai dekh bhi nahi sakta hai vessel ki visibility but awaaz sunai de raha hai so in such a case means you have that means just because of non availability of all those means you are unable to determine the risk of collision that is the time what you should do that has been prescribed here in this paragraph but not when you have determined the risk of collision so determines mind determining the risk of collision by all available means yeah in that case this is not uh, applicable this Uh, action that has been prescribed here is not applicable so that is why it means except where it has been determined the risk of collision does not exist that means apne agar determined kar liya risk of collision is to uske liye nahi except that and wo kabhi ho sakta hai when your all means of determining the risk of collision is not available uska matlab your simply your radar not working radar out of order as simple so this is the type, this is the line that need to be understood first of all secondly the action that has been prescribed here in such a situation when you don't have radar working or you have no available means to determine risk of collision except only uh, the sound signal which by which you can uh, detect the presence of the vessel that's it in such a scenario this action has been prescribed taking into consideration that the risk of collision exists because if you are unable then also we have seen in the earlier rules uh, that such risk shall deem to exist so therefore this action has been prescribed considering that that the risk exist in such a situation where your uh, all available means of determining risk of collision is not available is that clear yes sir. is it clear so remember so this paragraph will only apply in such situations where the risk of de uh, determination of risk of uh, uh, risk of collision is not possible cannot be determined there considering the risk exist this action has been prescribed and what it says <coughs> every vessel which hears apparently forward of her beam the fog signal of another vessel this sound signal is only for indicating the presence of that vessel so if your radars are not 
not working. If you have no other means of determining the risk of collision, and but you can hear the fog signal. Only sound signal is heard, indicating the presence of that vessel. In such a case, or which cannot avoid a close quarter situation with another vessel forward of our beam. So, sound signal is hard in the forward of the beam. Forward of the beam means maybe forward of port beam, forward of starboard beam, whatever it is. Forward of the beam means within that arc, not in a particular directions, but within that arc, within that quadrant. So, when you hear that the sound is coming from the starboard bow, forward of the beam. A starboard bow means kitna point me, malum nahi hai. But it's coming from that side or in the port, whatever it is. So, therefore, and uh, or which cannot avoid a close quarter situation, another vessel forward of the beam. How do you come to know this? This obviously, uh, if you hear uh, the sound signal, uh, very loud sound signal, very close to you. So that means here in this case uh, is indicating the presence of that vessel very close to you by hearing that uh, intensity of the sound signal. But in no way it is a means to determine risk of collision. It may indicate the presence of the vessel it may indicate a close quarter situation with another vessel for our beam, but it is not a means of determining risk of collision, mind you. And in such circumstances, what remedy has been prescribed shall reduce her speed to the minimum at which she can be kept on her course. The first remedy itself is a reduction of speed. It doesn't talk about any alteration of course. So, therefore, in such a scenario, best is the action they have suggested to reduce your speed in this kind of situation. Why? Why not alter course? Because by reduction speed, you get more time to assess the situation. But by alteration, of course, you don't get more time to uh, assess the situation. Because you do not exactly know uh, the direction of the vessel. You do not. Uh, you know there is a vessel. You also uh, uh, assume its closeness by the intensity of the sound signal. But at the same time, uh, but determining risk of collision, you can't make out. So it's close. Both uh, intensity both jada hai. Sound uh, sound signal se pata jata is very close. So in such a scenario, uh, the action that they have prescribed here. Remember, this action has been prescribed by considering the risk of collision exists, even though the this cup collision has not been determined. So, never consider this uh, action as a uh, um, action to avoid collision. This is just uh, action to avoid collision assuming or considering the risk exists, not determining. These two different things. You take action to avoid collision after determining the risk of collision. But when you cannot determine the risk of collision, but you take action, so that action should be such that assuming as if there is a risk of collision exists. And that's what the rule says earlier we have seen. If you cannot determine, if you're in doubt, so you uh, assume that that risk shall be deemed to exist. So therefore, you take this action uh, by reduction speed, which will help by taking this action uh, which will help you to get more time to assess the situation. She shall, if necessary, 
take all our way off and in any event navigate with extreme caution until the danger of collision is over i will come to this paragraph uh, later but now when you reduce your speed to the minimum so what does actually that mean you are already going on a safe speed means the speed at which uh, the vessel movement can be controlled vessel can be stopped if require uh, if you require you can go stern and things like that all that can be maneuvered vessel can be maneuvered so in such a scenario uh, when he says reduce your speed to the minimum in a sense what what do you mean by that there are no more dangerous at which she can she can get on her course so speed should be such that you still maintain that course sir sir mera awaaz break ho rahi hai sir sir aapka awaaz break ho raha hai sir break ho raha hai yes sir yes sir disturbance hai aapke isme abhi bhi break ho raha hai na abhi theek hai sir theek hai sir acha ye pata nahi ye sound ka sath kya hota hai ज़्यादा ज़्यादा देर से ज़्यादा टाइम लेने से शायद ऐसा होता है <laughs> नहीं सर नेटवर्क इशू नहीं व्हाट आई एम एक्चुअली डूइंग ऑनेस्टली स्पीकिंग आप लोग जो बोल रहा है कि सर डिस्टर्ब हो रहा है इधर में एक ऑप्शन है वो साउंड में एक यूज द सिस्टम अनदर है कि वो एक क्या एरे पर क्या लिखा है तो मैं घुमा घुमा फिर वो माउस पे जो रो नहीं ये सब ठीक ही है now now what what actually i am doing is uh, you know uh, uh, when i click on to that uh, what do you call that sound signal that uh, sound ka usme se option aata hai usme bolta hai select a microphone microphone array uh, bolta hai ek same system to usi ko ek bar ghuma phire kar jab karta hai tab sir wo intel wala use kiya kar ha intel wala hi to hum abhi use kar raha hai हाँ बल लेकिन पहले पहले जब इन, पहले इंटर वाला भी था तब तो आप लोग बोला कि सर ठीक से सुनाई नहीं देता है दैट टाइम सो आई चेंज ओवर टू सिस्टम नाउ अभी आप तो सर वो फिर ऐसा होगा कि वो इंटेल वाला जो है ना उसका ड्राइवर अपडेट करने वाला होगा दिस इज एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग दिस इज द लेटेस्ट न्यू व्हाट यू कॉल लैपटॉप व्हिच हैज बीन प्रोवाइडेड टू अस बाय फ्रॉम द कॉलेज एवरी फैकल्टी आर नॉट इवन माय ओन Uh, which is also latest uh, latest one this is the one provided to us a new one all updated and everything is there uh, so i am using that we have been asked to use this one uh, uh, because we were supposed to uh, take class from the college online class from the college not from home but uh, uh, the latest circular over here in west bengal uh, we cannot go there now we cannot go and take online class from the college so back home ghar mein baith ke lena padega so for that purpose uh, this thing that uh, college has provided all the faculties uh, with a new uh, laptop uh, so you take class on that so i am doing on that so so therefore update for pe jo bol rahe na utse sab update hai bhai to naya hai aur all are updated and i have been checking the updates also regularly so pata nahi ye kyu ho raha hai intel wala me deta hai thoda time se baad alag 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 sir abhi sab log ghar se matlab online classes wagera lene lag gaye na iske liye disturbance hota hai sir zyada sab log online rehte hai sir usme bhi ye 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 aap dekhte hai na traffic bahut busy ho jata hai mera mera computer bahut mera laptop mein nahi hota hai सर वो रहता है ना सर जब टेंथ का रिजल्ट आता है तभी वो साइट थोड़ा हैंग हो जाती है सेम उस टाइप सर और बीच में बट आई हैड एन आईडिया व्हाट आर नॉलेज आई हैड दैट व्हेन यूजिंग माय लैपटॉप माय ओन लैपटॉप आई यूज्ड टू चेक ऑन दैट कि अगर वो नेट का कुछ गड़बड़ होता है नेट स्लो हो जाता है कुछ हो जाता है उसके बाद टाइम में आपका ये साउंड थोड़ा सुनाई नहीं देता है ये नहीं देता है सो ऑल दिस प्रॉब्लम कम्स बट इधर में तो दूसरा दिखता है इधर नेट पर कुछ सवाल नहीं है 
ये दिख दिखता है सिस्टम का यूज करो साउंड या तो इंटर का करो सिस्टम करता है तो थोड़ा टेक बात बोलता है यू पीपल सिंग सर आपका आवाज ठीक नहीं आ रहा है फिर उसको हम वो इंटर में दे देता है इंटर में देता है हाँ सर अभी क्लियर हुआ सर सो दिस इज द प्रॉब्लम दैट आई एम फेसिंग हियर एनी ऑफ सर ये क्यों आप ही के क्लास में होता है सर आप ही के कंप्यूटर में कुछ रहता है किसी का सर ऐसा प्रॉब्लम सर आपके क्लास में क्यों होता है सर तो जो मेरे को जो सेट दिया गया बाबा वो न्यू है सबकी सबको तो न्यू सेट दिया है हम लेकिन हमारा सेट में ऐसा नहीं होता द वन विच आर सेम बोथ आर डेल का है मेरा भी डेल है मैं मेरा द लेटेस्ट डेल का मैंने नया खरीदा था उसको लॉकडाउन का टाइम है सो एंड दिस इज आल्सो एब्सोल्युटली ब्रांड न्यू न्यू वन बट द डिफरेंट मॉडल so anyhow i don't know why it is happening all sets may not be same dell ka kaun sa hai sir aapka pardon sir dell ka kaun sa laptop hai ye jo uh, mera pass mera personal tha dell inspiron tha and uh, this one is uh, dell ka hai essential so this uh, dell essential has been given to all the faculties from the college we we'll have to return back uh, after we finish our time this will be with us till the time all these days we are doing on our, from our own so but but hum log ko bola tha ki we have to go to the college and take the online classes so for that all this thing preparation was done but abhi to cancel ho gaya senior uh, so i am my uh, laptop is at the moment i'm not using so i'm using on this so anyhow uh, let's see other faculties uh, they are not having this problem no no sir not this problem sir uh, i do not know uh, because, because i knew it is due to the net network wise so if 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 it is due to network, then it's possible. No matter which laptop I use, doesn't matter. Network का अगर कुछ disturbance होगा तो you can see you all can see my network the thing no? Yes sir. You all can see my network strength no? Yes sir. क्या दिखता है strength में? Good है sir. हाँ. अभी जब वो जब सुनाई नहीं देगा डिस्टर्ब करेगा ना उस टाइम जरा हमारा नेटवर्क का जरा ये देखो तब पता चलेगा एक्चुअल रीजन व्हाट इज इट एनी ठीक है हाँ जो बोल रहा था मैं व्हाट वाज दिस थिंग इज व्हाट आई ट्राइंग टू टेल यू सी दिस रिड्यूस स्पीड टू द मिनिमम एट विच ही कैन बी केप्ट ऑन आर कोर्स का मतलब है क्या आप कोर्स में रहोगे You are staying on that course. You are moving, but at a speed which is minimum. That means what is? Akhir mein what is it means? Ab to ja raha hai. Ui direction mein ja raha hai. Aage ja raha hai. But you are covering very less distance. That means you are trying to cut down your forward movement to the minimum. So, wo bolna jitna easy hai. मेंटेन करना उतना ही डिफिकल्ट है बिकॉज वॉट एवर द मिनिमम स्पीड दैट इज फॉर दैट पर्टिकुलर शिप फॉर दैट फॉर दैट पर्टिकुलर इंजन विच इज बिन ऑलरेडी प्री डिटरमाइंड तो उससे ज्यादा तो आप मेंटेन नहीं कर सकता है तो यू फॉलो अकॉर्डिंग टू दैट परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ दैट इंजन सो देर फॉर उसमें से अपना जितना मिनिमम हो सकता है उतना उतना ही जाएगा लेकिन प्रॉब्लम ये है कि वो बात नहीं है बात है व्हाट इज द आइडिया रिड्यूसिंग योर स्पीड टू द मिनिमम सो दैट सी कैन बी केप्ट ऑन आवर कोर्स मीन स्पीड जितना भी कम रहो चलेगा तो सही ना और चलेगा कौन से डायरेक्शन में चलेगा इफ यू आर मेंटेनिंग द कोर्स मींस यू यू आर फॉलोइंग द सेम ट्रैक तो आगे आप बढ़ रहा है लेकिन ज्यादा डिस्टेंस नहीं जा रहा है दिस इज वॉट इट इज सो Actually speaking, this is basically meant that आगे आपको बढ़ना नहीं चाहिए 
तो आगे बढ़ना नहीं चाहिए एंड टू डू दिस नो मिनिमम स्पीड एंड ऑल दिस थिंग उसके लिए आपको कभी इंजन बंद करना पड़ेगा हाँ मीन मीन्स देर आर लॉट ऑफ अदर फैक्टर्स दो उसके लिए कुछ मैंने वर्क करना पड़ता है तो वो सब फंडा है वो सब बोलना इजी है बट करना मुश्किल होता है तो वो सब एक्चुअली होता भी नहीं है सो थियोरी में जो बोलता है जो एक्शन को बोलता है कि रिड्यूस स्पीड टू मिनिमम सो दैट सी कैन बी केप्ट ऑन गुड इसीलिए बोला है इफ नेसेसरी टेक ऑल आर वे ऑफ अब से हो, होता नहीं है सपोज अकॉर्डिंग टू द परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ द इंजन आप जितना भी कम किया उतना भी कम करने के बाद देख दिखता है फिर भी थोड़ा सा डिस्टेंस जा ही रहा है टू मेंटेन दैट कोर्स और यू फाइंड इट डिफिकल्ट टू डू दैट इन सच ए केस इफ यू फील नेसेसरी इफ कुछ एक्शन तो लेना है टेक ऑल हर वे ऑफ अभी टेकिंग हर ऑल द वे ऑफ इसका भी मीनिंग होता है कैन समन टेल मी वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस टेक हर ऑल द वे ऑफ Stopping the engine, sir. No, no, no. Stopping or reversing are means of propulsion. No, 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 no. वो तो पहले रूल में था उसको चेंज कर दिया अभी वो भाषा चेंज कर दिया वो पहले रूल में अर्ली भाषण में था टेकर ऑल द वे ऑफ बाई मीन्स ऑफ रिवर्सिंग द मीन्स ऑफ प्रोपल्शन स्टॉपिंग और रिवर्सिंग आर मीन्स ऑफ प्रोपल ये तो पहले वो कट कट कर दिया निकल दिया अभी नया में वो नहीं लिखा है उसका भी रीजन है क्यों नहीं क्यों हटा दिया गया खाली लिखा टेकर ऑल द वे ऑफ एंड उसके बाद जो जुड़ा है इन एंड इन एनी इवेंट नेविगेट विद एक्सट्रीम कॉशन अंडर डेंजर ऑफ कॉलिशन इज ओवर सो नो वो तो ठीक है वो बात छोड़ो वो तो जनरल टेकिंग आर ऑल द वे ऑफ का मतलब क्या है ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस पार्ट और पहले जो था छोड़ दो वो तो कट दिया क्यों कट दे दैट यू विल ऑटोमेटिकली अंडरस्टैंड इफ यू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट डू मीन बाय टेकिंग आर ऑल द वे ऑफ हाउ विल यू टेक आर ऑल द वे ऑफ वो तो छोड़ो व्हाट डू यू मीन बाय टेकिंग आर ऑल द वे ऑफ सर अगर उस कुछ इक्विपमेंट्स ये करके रखे सर एक करके रखे तो फिर नहीं 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 इसका सिंपल इंग्लिश मीनिंग टेकिंग हर ऑल द वे ऑफ मीन हम आगे बढ़ेगा नहीं वे वे जिस रास्ते से हम चल रहा था यूर कीपिंग हर कोर्स नो उसमें हम जाएगा नहीं टेक हर वे ऑफ वही रास्ते से हम दे जाएगा दट द वे बट देन हाउ टू डू इट हाउ टू डू इट इसलिए पहले लिखा था इसलिए पहले था बाय स्टॉपिंग और रिवर्सिंग मींस ऑफ प्रोपल्शन लेकिन उसको हटाया दे गया क्यों हटाया दे गया बिकॉज इफ यू वांट टू टेक ऑल द वे ऑफ हाउ विल यू टेक ऑल द वे ऑफ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल बाय अगर हम पहले वाला का रूल का अगर एक्सप्लेन किया जाए तो बाय स्टॉपिंग ओके इंजन स्टॉप कर दिया अरे बाबा इंजिन स्टॉप करने से जहाज वही रहेगा नो सर मोमेंटम रहेगा तो आगे जाएगा ये मोमेंटम हो प्लस योर अदर एक्सटर्नल इफेक्ट ड्रिफ्ट करेगा ये करेगा वो तो वही रास्ते पे जाएगा कि नहीं नहीं जाएगा ना शी विल ड्रिफ्ट इधर चला जाएगा उधर चला जाएगा कि नहीं सो देर फोर यूर अनेबल टू होल्ड पोजिशन अगर आपको होल्ड करना है स्टॉप करने का बाद स्टॉप करने के बाद अगर होल्ड करना है तो आपको फिर से मोम किक देना पड़ेगा So, एक बार स्टॉप करो फिर से जैसे ही घूमना शुरू कर फिर से उसको हेड किक दो हेड मूवमेंट देके उसको पकड़ पकड़ दो ऐसे कर करके इट 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 इज इजी सेड देन डन उसको फंडा देने से कुछ फायदा नहीं है उसको बोलना इजी है सो देर फोर उस लोग हटा दिया गया बाई स्टॉपिंग क्योंकि पीपल डोंट अंडरस्टैंड इन जनरल पीपल अंडरस्टैंड बंद कर दीजिए स्टॉप इंजन आगे बढ़ेगा नहीं अरे आगे बढ़ेगा नहीं बट शी विल मेंटेन दैट कोर्स एक क्या इजी बात है क्या 
Suppose you stop the engine and you want to maintain that heading only, same heading. So, uska liye, uh, will it be possible to maintain that? Ab jitta bhi koshish karo. Helm do, ye do, wo do, like very difficult. So, that is stopping. And by reversing means of propulsion. The reversing means of propulsion means going astern. Going astern. Achi, going astern. Abhi head pe chal raha tha. Ahead movement mein. Minimum speed. Ab, abhi piche jayega. Abhi, you tell me now. For, for a four-wheeler or a two-wheeler. Haan. Ab aage ja raha tha. Abhi aapko piche jana hai. Jana hai. Kya karoge? Reverse. You, you will bring the gear to neutral? Yes or no? Engine up both Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Bring the gear to neutral and then neutral, say, then you give a start. Go start, isn't it? Up gear, me the gagini. Are a jad me also can say karegaway? We can neutral gear for bath katai. To up to bunker number again. वो जो टेलीग्राफ देखता है ना वो टेलीग्राफ अगर गियर सोच गया आप तो उसको यू पुट इट टू स्टॉप इफ यू कंसीडर दैट एज अ न्यूट्रल गियर तो जैसे आप उस स्टॉप पे दिया तो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इंजन विल नॉट स्टॉप इट विल टेक सम टाइम तो उसे मोमेंटम में थोड़ा जाएगा सेकंडली एंड देन यू हैव टू गिव द स्टार्ट किक इट गेट्स दैट इजी और डायरेक्ट स्टान दे देंगे सर हाँ डायरेक्ट स्टान देंगे तो दैट करके तो देना पड़ेगा ना स्टॉप कर ओके एंड व्हेन व्हेन यू गिव स्टान मूवमेंट विच विच डायरेक्शन द शिप हेड विल कैंट विल इट बी स्ट्रेट हेडिंग नो इट विल कंट टू स्टार्ट इट Yes, starboard, right starboard में आप जब घूमेंगे आपका heading तो वही heading रहा क्या? Are you maintaining the course? So you are deviating from your way or not? Yes. So alter course हो गया था आपका? Are इधर आप तो जा आ जाए? सोचो. So therefore वो सब हटा दिया गया. So shall if they say take all our way off आप जैसे भी करके करो. आगे मत बढ़ो. आगे मत बढ़ो. Don't go in the same way. So, चाहे आप पीछे चला जाओ रिवर्स का अरे जो भी रिवर्स करो स्टार्ट में जाओ जो भी करो आपका तो जात जात एक क्या नहीं एक सीधा आगे जाएगा सीधा पीछे जाएगा ऐसी तो नहीं है ना. So that therefore uh, जो भी करो आप पीछे में जाओ आप घूम के आप उसको रिवर्स कोर्स में जाओ जो भी कुछ जाओ तो आपको तो अल्टर करना ही पड़ेगा. You will not be able to keep our course. Keep your course. So therefore, uh, it says that whichever way you want to do it, you do it, but take her all the way off. So, Sir, this is last jo point. This is not written that I have to maintain course. This is just written that we take all our way off. Take all our way off means what? We are not going anywhere, right? Yes. Before that, before that, what was the earlier intention? Sir, earlier you said that we have to maintain the course. कोर्स मेंटेन करना और कोर्स मेंटेन करना लेकिन आगे नहीं जाना कोर्स मेंटेन करो तो एक जगह में खड़ा कि मेंटेन दैट हेडिंग एंड एंड बट डोंट मूव हाउ दैट कैन दैट दैट इज डन हाउ दैट इज डन दैट इज डन ओनली आई टोल्ड यू नो बाय गिविंग बाय स्टॉपिंग देन गिविंग हेड किक जस्ट होल्ड इट इन दैट दैट सो दैट आगे बढ़ेगा नहीं बट शी विल मेंटेन दैट हेडिंग सो इसीलिए तो तो आखिर में व्हाट इज द आइडिया मैन फाइनली हमको आगे नहीं जाना है हम चाहे उधर ही रह जाए जहां है या पीछे पे गो बैक गोइंग गोइंग बैक यू कैन कंसीडर दैट एज ए टेकिंग हर ऑल द वे ऑफ आर एंड वही रहना है तो उसको मिनिमम स्पीड एट विच शी कैन बी केप्ट ऑन उसको लेकिन दोनों में देखो इज इज दिया सेड डन डन बोलना सो दैट इज वाई देन फाइनली देन व्हाट एक्शन इन सच ए केस 
उसमें आपको क्या करना है वही यही करना है आपको अब यू ट्राई टू होल्ड आर इन टू सेम पोजिशन डोंट प्रोसीड फर्दर डोंट प्रोसीड फर्दर डोंट मेक एनी फर्दर वे और अब चाहिए तो आप चाहिए तो मतलब अगेन यू हैव टू अगेन यू हैव टू डिसाइड ऑन द सर्कम आपका एक ही आवाज सुनाई दिया साउंड सिग्नल एक ही जहाज है और स्टावर्ट में हो कोर्ट में हो कुछ भी हो डायरेक्शन में एंड देर इफ यू वॉन्ट टू गो स्टार्ट और इफ यू वॉन्ट टू टर्न एंड गो ऑन रिवर्स डायरेक्शन एंड यू हैव टू डिसाइड ऑन दैट पार्ट बट आप आगे मत बढ़ो so this is the action they have prescribed by considering that that risk of collision deemed to exist and aisa action ab kab tak karoge jab tak danger of collision is over are wo kaise pata chalega danger of collision is over can someone tell me ab to risk of collision determine nahi kar sakta hai lekin ओवर कब कैसे पता चलेगा दैट मीन यू यू दैट रेस्ट्रिक्टेड विजिबिलिटी फॉग मस्ट बी लिफ्टिंग अप क्लियर हो गया दिखाई देता है तब आर यू मीन सो नो सर सर वो जब साउंड सिग्नल बहुत हल्का सुनाई देगा सर तो दैट इज वंस अगेन दैट बाय हियरिंग मींस दैट पीपल दैट्स जनरली सेज that uh, that uh, intensity of sound signal uh, will be faded out fading off agar ab to ek jahaz ka piche pada hai agar do teen jahaz hai to and first of all and secondly uh, uh, you never know what the situation uh, will be now agar ek jahaz bhi hai and ab agar aap wohi soch ke आप ये किया कि हम तब तक वेट करेगा जब तक वो उसका साउंड तो फेड अप हो जाएगा अरे बीच में दूसरा कोई जहाज आ गया बाबा सो <laughs> सो so, so, ऐसा तो नहीं है खाली एक ही जहाज था उसका आवाज फेड हो गया हो गया चलो अभी कलिशन इज ओवर रिस्क ऑफ कलिशन डेंजर ऑफ कलिशन इज ओवर सो इट इज वेरी 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 कॉम्प्लिकेटेड so and this does not give you any guarantee that that uh, uh, you have uh, successfully avoided risk of collision no this action does not give any guarantee and that is what the examiner tells you when you give the answer and say after all this you said that assuming only one she only uh, says sir the sound signal fades off and uh, that will uh, that will indicate that uh, this danger of collision is over no more uh, no more sound signal then he say, he says uh, if the sound signal does not uh, uh, intensity of sound signal does not remain the same then what na badta hai na kamta hai tab kya bolu because maybe that vessel also has taken the same action and see he also may have near by on and the intensity of the sound signal remains same tab kya karoge master ko bulayenge sir na na master ko to aapko aisa bolana chahiye aisa bhi bolana chahiye wo to to aapko bolana padega wo to that is all right but when you have been asked this question you are the officer in charge of the watch and you have been asked this, given this situation uh, and you have been told that you are in dense fog and you hear a fox in your all uh, your radars are not working or you have no available means to determine the risk of collision and you hear a fox signal forward of your beam what action sir all the way off sir because we listen the fox signal if it is near the range like 2 nautical miles maximum from 0.5 to 2 nautical miles so we need to take all way off sir no in such a case what is not mentioned here that you have to mention that most of the people don't know and they don't uh, mention that they you will Sorry. mention and you will mention here whatever they have prescribed that what action you will take 
I shall reduce my speed to the minimum so that she can be kept on her course. Or if necessary, I shall take her all the way off. And in any event, uh, navigate with extreme caution until danger yes. of collision. Up is co court cut. Okay. So you think examiner will accept that? Then he will then he will keep crossing you the way I've been telling you. Keep crossing you. And then he will put you into more uh, situation, more complicated situation. And ultimately, then he, he, he then okay, he will say, Okay, you have done this. But then after some time, your vessel had collided with that vessel. Job. So in the court of law, how will you defend yourself? Okay, Sir, intensity increase Nene, sab kuch hua. Hone ke baad aapne, according to this, you have taken action and all. Then he says, okay, after some time, your vessel has collided with that vessel. You had a collision. So now in the court of law, how, how will you defend yourself? Ab kya bologi? What is my fault? I have followed according to law 19E. I have followed. So it's not, not fault of mine. Sir, all our giveaway vessels in this, sir. Huh? Sir, every vessel is a giveaway vessel in this, this uh, no, RV no, situation. No, 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 no. Now you have, there is something else. That is why I'm saying no. There's something else which no candidates sir, mention. Sir, what is will, that? We will rule number two, sir, responsibility, sir. No. You have to prove in the court of law that you are not at fault. You have to investigation that collision was done. What action was taken? You will see. The responsibility between the vessels, sir. So how do you prove yourself that you are not at fault? Tell me. You will say that you have taken the action in rule number 19. I will show you that I have taken the action accordingly. What has been given in rule number 19? But that will not, uh, that will not uh, relieve you of your uh, fault. You will be penalized. You know why? Then you will be told that you are saying that your radars, you had no available means of determining risk of collision. Fine. And you have followed according to the rule number 19. How so the other to... vessel will know that your radars are not working? How the other vessel will come to know that your uh, you have no uh, available means of determining this collision? We will, sir. We will uh, tell her that by uh, signals. We will uh, let her know that we are we don't have available. Means, how, 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 how? What signal is that, man? I said, signal hai kya? You to tell the other ship that look, I I don't have any uh, available means of uh, determining risk of collision. I said, signal I sir. I don't know, no, not to my knowledge. Ah, to cast cast to each is in the Iana of Jitna Age Bartir Ogana Utnako, it will be twisted and twisted and twisted. A bachini pauge. Uh, so, uh, uh, you, you will not find any answer because of only one thing. Only one thing. Yes, I have to hints. I mean, if I am the examiner, I will keep on giving you hints like this. And by telling you how that other vessel will come to know, man, that you are uh, this thing, uh, you have no means of available means of determining this collision. So, so what is most urgent required in this case is the very fast situation before you commence your action, you have to send a safety message. From the safety message and then you follow this action which has been prescribed. What is safety message? Is for safety message is for safety of navigation. So the navigation here is at stake. So when you send the safety message, all vessels, vessel or vessels nearby, they are alerted. 
and the vessel which had a risk of collision with you uh, so when you take this kind of action they also come to know so this is that vessel which is in having uh, problem because this fellow has sent a safety message so in that safety message you have mentioned that so therefore your position is known so in the court of law if you produce uh, and the evidence that you had sent a safety message that has been acknowledged so your fault will be reduced that yes then you can justify your action say look i have sent a safety message already alerted the ship i have taken the action according to rule number 19 where is my fault now where is my fault got that yes sir so never and ever forget to mention this the first thing action that is take is is but now tell me where is it written that you have to send a safety message this is the purpose of the safety message and in the breach procedure guide they mention that whenever any of the equipment goes out of order at sea whether in clear visibility or in restricted visibility you yes, suppose this is the purpose of the safety message no you have sent we do not do that in clear visibility at sea any of the equipment goes out of order do we send safety message no gyro kharab ho gaya to safety message bheja hai or your dusra kuch hua you are attending to it or radar kharab ho gaya kuch kabhi kisi ne dekha hai suna hai safety message bhejne ke liye because we are not in practice jab your restricted visibility aata hai tabhi sabko need to tut jata hai abhi because of the wrong practice that has been followed so therefore no candidate ever realize that and you are mentioned that he sir i will first uh, send a safety message because it's concerning with the safety of navigation so that all ships will be alerted in the safety message i obviously mentioned my positions and all these difficulties so all ships are alerted now when this situation comes uh, after having sent the send, uh, safety messages then i will follow this action uh, as prescribed in rule number 19e as we mean that there is a risk of collision exist or considering that risk of collision exist uh, i take this action see such a simple thing but such interpretation understanding so this is this i have not got from the student very few cases now keep on asking 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 discussing discussing nowadays very rare cases and that too from masters candidate mind you second mate ko to chhodi do wo to jab hum pehle leta tha second mate ko bol bol ke bol bol ke to class pe thak gaya tha and then hardly some people used to give and uh, thereafter made same situation we master ko ye sab hum पूछते पूछते बोलते बोलते डिस्कस करते नाउ वी गेट दिस काइंड ऑफ आंसर्स फ्रॉम द कैंडिडेट अवेदर सेकंड मेट और मेट और मास्टर्स सो सी एंड मास्टर के लिए तो ये और दिस थिंग है यू हैव अ डिफिकल्टी यू कॉल द मास्टर मास्टर हिमसेल्फ डजंट नो द सेफ्टी मैसेज टू बी सेंट व्हाट देन सो दैट विल टोटल यू आई टेल यू दिस आरओआर वेदर फॉर सेकंड मेट और फॉर मेट और मास्टर्स if ask not one question obviously if your ror is tested even after you have answered every damn question that has been asked to you whether in the case of masters the question related to law this that ship handling a wo mates ka jo bhi kuch hai cargo wargo jo bhi hai second mate ka sab kuch stability board is cargo sab kuch karne ka baad bhi aapko jab ror pucha jayega couple of ror question and you are found you are very weak no one can success At any grade, let me tell you. So this is way this ROR is so damn important to understand. Khali rule magab karne se nahi hota hai. And this is where we uh, share our experience, share our, share our uh, interpretations to you uh, in a manner so that uh, you understand the thing from the heart of your heart, not uh, just superficially. Uh, you get that. So now you have the answer to the question. You know what to answer. you also had the question also okay and sir ek ek jo ye wala point tha sir take all her way off uska sir bata dijiye kaise tha take all her way off means 
आप जिस रास्ता से चल रहा है यू आर कीपिंग द कोर्स नो पहले बोला था ना कीपिंग आर ऑन द कोर्स वही कोर्स जो है वही है आपका रास्ता वे वे तो वही रास्ता से नहीं जाना है टेक आर ऑफ कम आउट ऑफ दैट वे ऑल टेक ऑल हर वे ऑफ मीन वही रास्ते से जाएगा ही नहीं वही हेडिंग से जाएगा ही नहीं वही डायरेक्शन में दैट इज वॉट इज टेक ऑल हर वे ऑफ got that yes sir understood so this is a uh, you know i took quite a lot of time to explain this uh, rule number 19e which i feel uh, that is very very important to understand and i hope you all are satisfied with it any doubts